Hi, so John Capobianco is back, and we've looked at agents and how simple and easy agents are to use with artificial intelligence, particularly with Langchain and Olama, both open source and free and local and private. Well, I've been doing some more research, and one of the tools from the agent toolkit is a shell tool, meaning we can run shell commands and interact with our terminal. You've seen me do this by creating a file in my local directory with the contents of the file. Let's take this a step further and make a Pi ATS agent for network automation. So this is just a few more lines of code. It's still only 20, 25 lines of code. But what we're going to do is come up with our shell command, our Pi ATS CLI, command line interface command, the agent's going to run the command and then ask it to analyze the output, which will be JSON or raw text. So in effect, we can chat with any of our network devices that are in our Pi ATS testbed file. Now, Chloe's here. She's excited. Everybody's excited. Let's take a deeper look at Pi ATS <coughs> agents. Okay, so I'm inside a <coughs> Windows machine with WSL and Ubuntu, and I'm inside of a virtual Python environment with Pi ATS and a few Langchain components installed. I have this testbed.yaml file that describes the DevNet sandbox for iOS XE. This is an always on iOS XE device that we can make this testbed file. So now we can run Python Pi ATS CLI commands against this testbed. Now, what does my code look like? Well, I'm importing the agent toolkits from Langchain Community and the load tools. The tools that I'm going to load, sorry, I got the wrong file open. Uh, I'm going to import the shell tool, excuse me. It's a similar idea, but I'm just going to import the shell tool from the community tools and instantiate the shell tool. That's going to be the tool used by my agent chain. I'm also going to specify a zero shot agent type. Now, Olama is for my LLM, and we can swap out the LLM. We might play with different LLMs and see what the responses look like. We'll do that today. Now that I have an agent set up with my LLM and my toolkit, we're going to set up a Pi ATS command, which is simply Pi ATS parse, show IP interface brief, testbed file testbed.yaml. Now to show you what this looks like, at the command line, if I run this command, we're going to get a blob of JSON back from the device, okay? Now, what we can do, you know, I've done rag approaches where I save this JSON file, load it in a vector store, and then start chatting with it. But with this agent, we can invoke a prompt that says run the following shell command and then analyze the JSON output. Now, we can get a little bit more specific here, but let's just ask it to analyze the JSON output. And that's the code. That's it. 30 lines of code, comments, included and spaces. So let's go ahead and run our agent. Whoops, ah, clear. Python iOS agent. So it's going to go ahead and execute the agent. The ag agent's going to pick the terminal action and run the command. There's the JSON back from our agent. Now the agent says thought, I've successfully executed the given shell command and parsed the output as requested. The JSON shows all the details of all the interfaces in the device, including their status, protocol, IP address. It appears that all the interfaces are functioning correctly, except for GI2 and 3, which are administratively down. Final answer, the command provides that show all the interfaces except for GI2 and 3 are up and running on the device. However, these two interfaces are administratively down. A true AI agent for 
our Cisco iOS XE device. Let's play with this a little bit more. Let's do a show version parsing. And what can you tell me about the version as our question? And we're going to run this agent. And then I have something a little bit maybe more advanced in mind. And we can see if we can combine agents. So there's the show version JSON from PyETS. And I know the final answer. And here is the final answer. And it has the name and the model and the version. Um, it's been reloaded and running for 12 hours. It has three gigabit interfaces and the main memory. So we have this amazing AI augmented agent on top of PyATS. 